What you are looking at made me overnight the most hated storage tech community member. And it is only what the title says. It is a combination of a shulker box filler with an item filter. That doesn't sound that bad, Adam. What the hell are you talking about? Is probably something many of you have asked yourself right now. Well, the issue with this thing is there isn't much to improve on it. If you have watched my past videos and read maybe the comments on it or have been following some discussions in the technical Minecraft community, people always try to improve designs and try to find flaws in the existing ones to uh, basically fix, to have something to do, because it's admittedly a lot of fun to invent new things. And one of the criticisms of my previous designs was that they didn't really focus on having minimal lag. I tried to fix that, but the version I made had the issue that it wasn't perfectly reliable, especially when you had several of the box loaders trigger at the same time. And that mostly explains this weird design. It is a combination of the hopper locked item filter and filler and a design that has been known for, I think, even several years by now, where people have discovered that if you break a box and at the same time unlock a hopper below it, it will not allow the box to be pushed or flown anywhere around in the machine, but will be immediately sucked into the hopper. Then by achieving the almost impossible goal of 100% reliability. Something that you, I'm not even sure can even do with normal designs because the way Mojang coded this game, there are a lot of issues with collision between blocks and entities. You may also think about this, this rather weird Adam. Why would this be so special? There are double speed uh, shulker box filter loaders. You even made a video about them. Well, that's of course true. However, if you think about the optimization for lag a little bit, you may come across the weird difference between these. This isn't using a dropper that is being triggered by a clock or even some sort of weird arrangement of a bunch of hoppers to fill the boxes. It is simply using these two right here. The idea being, if you are using a clock to trigger a dropper, you are causing immensely more lag than something like this. First of all, there is nothing flickering in this. Of course, there are some visual particles, but there is no changes in like redstone being on or off. And secondly, when a dropper is triggered, it causes a lot of lag. Well, nothing like that is happening in front of you right now. That is already a clear, clear indication <laughs> that this is far less laggy. And it's actually so much less laggy that it is much, much more worth it to just build several of these instead of one of the double speed ones. Of course, you may just think, okay, well, and the limiting factor of farms in Minecraft, as I mentioned already many times, is not some sort of size or, I don't know, how they look. I have seen people think that how something looks matters. You can just decorate around it. Or, for example, how much it costs. If you have farms that produce millions of items per hour, the only limiting factor is how much you lag the server. And this thing, of course, combined with some sort of farms or storage systems, allows you to lag the server as little as possible while doing these actions. And even relative to how much this processes. Since 
you can always just build more of these. You can two of these would be maybe ten times less likely than one of the double speed ones. Not to mention because this has minimal amount of hoppers and all of them are locked, this is less likely than any other design. I, I couldn't find any design that would be even equally low lag to this one, not to mention less, since, well, if you logically think about it, if this has the minimal amount of hoppers needed, then, and all of them are locked, and of course this only triggers something, since it doesn't have a clock, only once the box is filled and that's super rare, there isn't much to improve on that. And that's kind of what a lot of people really dislike about this. It is basically the sort of end goal of a server, which is in the late stages of the game where everything isn't a problem. You have almost infinite resources since like you can farm all of the items you see in front of you. And if you can't farm them, you can make quarries for them. So to go a little bit more in detail, what this only needs is because of this very neat setup, which a person called Mercury on the technical Minecraft storage archive used for, I'm, I think he was the first one to use it. Of course, it requires a lot more than that. You don't even need to unlock and lock this hopper for the empty boxes and trigger the piston with two different things. It uses a single redstone torch to do that. Of course, there is a possible design where you would use pretty much the same timing or maybe shorter ones and adjust the other ones with observers. There isn't any significant difference and this is also incredibly safe because if I place a piston like this, you can see it's not triggering by the torch. That means the slices don't affect each other, which is very convenient and makes sure there is basically no chance of any some sort of misfire happening. The other thing is this is also very configurable. That's the second problem because there's always someone who is like oh no Adam your thing is useless because it doesn't have this one feature that only I want or that only a very few of us might need well don't worry I have pretty much all the features you might want to have in this thing so as I mentioned you don't need to have this output hopper line you can simply put a dropper here and put the wire that effectively just transport the signal through the top. Since you have enough delay, you have the option to transport the signal quite far. The reason why I'm just using handstone dust here is because I'm changing only my one power and like I said, this thing triggers very, very rarely, only when the box is filled and then that happens almost never compared to something that will trigger every time when an item comes in. It's less than 1000 to 1. Here I have, for example, a version that also has ice here. This could work if you are, for example, in 1.12. Well, you would need this to be slightly different. You could, for example, use rails here. And or you have some sort of issue with how the water stream interacts with, for example, something that locks these hoppers here on top. That has been also part of some people criticizing me for is that I don't include that. Well, this is a version that allows you to do that very easily. You can just have a water stream on top of this block and you thereby have here empty space you can use. Of course, you can make this arch even taller. This one is only one with the different output, but uses the hopper line as output. The reason why I'm using a hopper line here as an output is because there isn't many 
items that need to be transported. The few few boxes this transports won't really cause any significant requirements and it's pretty easy to build this this way and it's still way less lagging than many other designs especially those ones that don't block any hoppers and this is something you might for example want to use with the farm i showed a few days ago for cobblestone where this doesn't filter the items at all this is basically just the thing that loads the items into the boxes then I might can have even one less hopper here and of course you can use again an arch with some rails or redstone dust on top and don't have the output in into a hopper line I think those are all the combinations anyone might wonder about if so not please leave some of them in the comment sections they are they are always rather amusing like this isn't some sort of incredible thing to pull off <laughs> to simply take a machine and make the wire a little longer and that's also one thing this is incredibly simple there aren't many blocks in this this is also really compact there simply isn't much to improve you can't make this more reliable you can't really make it less laggy at least not significantly and you can't even come up with some sort of variant that would have some sort of other feature that might be necessary or needed and i'm fairly certain that's probably why a lot of people got upset is there isn't much else to come up with sure there are the like super compact designs but i already made those and nobody has seemed to be able to figure out a better design in years so they are also pretty well discovered by now if you are wondering for maybe some use cases for this all kinds of farms that produce all kinds of items basically on some sort of technical server or even servers where you just have a lot of shulker boxes available to you since that's much easier to do these days and don't have some sort of plugins or mods that would mess with this you can use this it's incredibly convenient to not have to stand in the middle of your farm to pick up items but rather have them conveniently delivered to you in already packed in the boxes it is also very powerful for a lot of storage systems that try to be as optimized as humanly possible since you can for example use these instead of you might have heard about these box splitters and mergers you can just replace them with these things since these are so low lag you would actually need a huge array of these to eventually be less efficient which is so impractical in reality and since these ones are one way tellable there isn't even some sort of alternation needed these are super easy to dump out anywhere you need them you if you are wondering about one way tileable things you can just very quickly build them like this you don't need to like i don't know flip some stuff in them or have gaps in between that's another thing you can't make this any thinner for example <laughs> and even if you would shave a block off here you aren't going to change the main selling point if i can call it like that and even though nobody is selling anything and i don't even know who uses or why would you use this there are people who use story, uh, storage tag as decoration and i wish i would just make that up that's another thing like like i said the main feature with the hoppers you have so much space in the 60 million by 60 million that even if you could figure out how to make this more compact which nobody has done yet and this is already months old 
you wouldn't really improve it significantly. It actually got so bad with the uh, archive that they changed completely the, this was the last update to the archive that was done by someone outside. From now on, you only can suggest things to be posted there. And there is a group of people that reviews it. And I'm fairly certain no matter what I would post there, it would get rejected, especially after this thing. But I, since people already know about it, I, I decided I'll just share it with the rest of you guys, since I don't think it's, it's fair that only some tiny community who doesn't really like me anyway would only have access to these things. And they can be very powerful on certain servers where there is some sort of in-game economy which relies on farms and how fast you can process stuff. So please, if you know people who might need something like this or are playing on servers like that, just share them this video or at least like it. Because it took a lot of effort to invent this. And yeah, even though I don't invent this to get famous on YouTube, because that obviously will never happen, I, it would still be nice if you guys would show me if, if you at least like or dislike these, so I can know what else I can make to maybe help you more, <laughs> since that's inevitably my goal in general, even when doing other technical Minecraft stuff. I mostly just try to help people, or myself, of course, when I'm playing on survival. So, and if you are someone who made a similar design to this and it just became obsolete, please don't hate me so much for it. Okay, <laughs> is not really so much to ask for? <laughs> to not be hated for inventing something. I I really hope you, uh, you have a, a nice time with this. Have a nice day. And this is all for this video. <laughs>